Hi and welcome back to Kanji Master. The first kanji we're going to look at today is the kanji for government. Uh, the onion reading is kan, like gaikokan, meaning diplomat, or kankin, meaning government funds. To draw it, got a helmet. Got a B for bear. Right, bear. So you picture a bear outside the Houses of Parliament. And they put a magic helmet on him and he becomes a member of the Parliament. Imagine him rawr, attacking him once someone puts a helmet on him. He gets up and starts making a speech. Everyone really likes him, he's very popular. Gay Core Kun Diplomat or Kun Kim Gold uh, Government Funds. And the next one. The next kanji is a kanji for expert, teacher, or master. The only one you're reading is she, like Kyoshi, meaning teacher. And uh, draw it like this. So we've got kind of a bear. This is very similar to city, isn't it? Slightly different with a drop on the top of the bear here. So you imagine uh, a bear, similar to the turtle, to the mini turtle story, which is why this is a little knife thing here. It looks like Raphael's knife. Instead of becoming a ninja turtle, this, this bear becomes a teacher. He gets a drop of mutagen on his head, and the bear, who goes to the city, becomes a teacher. Kyoshi teacher. Remember the coffin, the kids, and their angled seats from way back. That may have been on day one. Cool. All right, the next one. The next kanji is the kanji for indicate, show, express, or point out. The only reading is shi or ji, as in shiji, meaning instructions. The kunya reading is shime from shimesu, meaning to point out. To draw it, we simply have. As we talked about before, when he kind of refers to this shape as a jackhammer, I think I'm going to continue to do so. If you think about someone trying to point something out to you, um, I'm not sure we learned this kanji before. Yubi, finger. Uh, shiji, like instructions. If you think of someone's trying to follow instructions, you can say to someone, where do you want to draw it? Where do you want the... Uh, to put the, the sink in the bathroom or something, moving house, you go right here and you indicate where you want it to go by jackhammering to the floor. Kind of wild picture stuff flying around right here, indicating, so pointing you jackhammering to the floor. And the next one, uh, the next kanji will appear in the, the last three kanji that we're studying today. The basically means injustice or un. The onion rhythm is he, as in hijo kuchi, like emergency, actually, hijo emergency. Or it's also the he from Zehi. I mean, absolutely. To draw it, you draw the downward line first. One, two, three. Straight line. One, two, three. To connect this with injustice, we imagine that these two things in the middle here are walls, and they've got spikes and they're closing in on you. And you feel like this is such an injustice. Maybe you can think about that scene in Star Wars where you're in the junk. Stuff in the walls are closing. This is an injustice. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. You to remember, I guess. Injustice. He from Hijo. Right, the next one. The next kanji is the kanji for guilt, sin, crime, blame, or offense. The on your reading is zai, like zai aku, meaning uh, a crime or like a vice. And the Kunya meaning tsumi, meaning crime or sin, uh, like omoi tsumi, serious crime. Draw it by drawing that eye. We have injustice underneath. So you can associate this with, um, if you can imagine, uh, the eye of sort, like this eye up here, so this is eye. Back. The eye of Sauron. So unjust. He goes around looking at crimes all over the city. If he sees one, he rather likes it, gives it the thumbs up. Whereas if he sees someone doing something good, he attacks them. That's that. So Zayaku. Mm -hmm. Crime or sin or vice. On to the next one. And the last kanji we're going to look at today is a kanji for comrade or fellow, companion. The 
when your reading is high, like senpai or kohai, meaning senior or junior. Uh, in Japan, you may have, you're probably already aware of this, but in Japan, in high school or in school in general, if someone is older than you, you refer them as senpai, if someone's younger than you, you call them kohai. Right. Well, I guess you wouldn't really call them kohai, but it's respectful to call someone senpai. Right. Injustice. I'm going to car. If you remember that senpai. Senpai. Someone senior to you. You can imagine it's a bit of injustice because maybe there's a really bad person who's older than you, but they win the lottery and they have a car. It's an injustice and they have this car. They're your senpai. You can't do anything about it. Kohai. Kohai. Junior. Injustice. Why do they have the car? Senior. Senior has the car. Damn. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining us. Catch you again. Oh, no, wait. We have to look at the poster. Let's do that now. And there you have it. What you're looking at is over 550 kanji. Um, over a quarter of the way there already. Uh, all the basics out of the way. I mean, we've even got some of the kanji from the bottom row that are now, so it's not like they're any more intimidating than any of the others. Um, could be a good time to start reading if you if you haven't started reading in Japanese yet. Um, easy Japanese News or Easy NHK, I think it's called. I'll put the link in the description. It's a great place to try out your newly acquired kanji reading skills. See how you go. Um, could be a bit of fun. Anyway, I'll, uh, let's keep learning kanji. I'll catch you guys again next week. See you later. Bye.